Flipped learning, sometimes called the flipped classroom, is an approach which uses time and space in a different way from the way courses are typically taught. In traditional instruction, students' first contact with new ideas happen in class, usually through direct instruction from the teacher. After exposure to the basics, students are turned out of the classroom to tackle the most difficult tasks in learning, those that involve application, analysis, synthesis, and creativity in their individual spaces. Flipped learning reverses this by moving first contact with new concepts to the individual space and using the newly expanded time in class for students to pursue difficult, higher level tasks together with the teacher as a guide. The study I investigated addressed flipped learning models that enhance student performance in three separate areas, content-based learning outcomes, learning satisfaction, and self-determination during learning so it measured competency, autonomy, and relatedness. The study looked at students in three different subjects, an eighth grade technology course, an eighth grade algebra course, and an eighth grade humanities course. Each course had two classes, a control group taught traditionally and an experimental group taught using flipped learning. Both the control and the experimental groups used active learning techniques, including problem and project-based learning, think pair share discussions, and brainstorming activities. The only different difference was the method of instruction. In the control group, instruction was initiated during the group meeting times and the teacher presented new material with the remaining time spent on active learning techniques. In the experimental group, the students' initial contact with new material happened outside the class with video modeling, followed by online quizzes to complete before class, and then application happened in the classroom. The results of the study were strongly positive for flipped learning and its influence on competency, autonomy, and relatedness.